Hindi matatawaran ang naging ambag sa industriya ng pelikulang Pilipino ng direktor at manunulat na si Peke Galiaga. Ang kanyang mga pelikula tumatak sa ating mga puso at sa kamalayan ng henerasyong ito ng mga Pilipino. Samahan natin ngayon ang kanyang mga kaibigan at mga artista na naging saksi sa pamana ni Direk Peke Galiaga. You're just a little thing in this whole galaxy of ours. If somebody makes a mistake, don't laugh at the person. Okay? Because now we're going to be working really tight and it's my job to produce you. Multi-awarded film person. and TV director. Igas Aste. Manunulat. Production designer, actor, at isa sa mga ama ng Filipino classic films, si Maurice Claudio Luis de Luzuriaga Galiaga, o mas kilala bilang si Direk Peque Galiaga. Nabuo na raong pwersang gerilya dito sa atin. Hindi ka ba nang bibiroin, Day? Biro-biro ba ang gera? Ilan sa mga obra ni Galiaga ay ang mga pelikulang Oro Plata Mata, Shake, Rattle, and Roll series. Maligno ang sanggol na yan. Tiyanak. Tiyanak! At kailangan, may balik ninyo ang balanse ng timbangan ng mundo. Magic Temple. Magic Kingdom, ang alamat ng The Mortis. Take one. And action! Sonata. At ang pinakahuling pelikula na kanyang iniwan matapos siyang pumanaw nitong 2020 lamang, ang Magic Land. Isa ang Magic Land sa mga pelikulang mapapanood sa Metro Manila Film Festival simula December 25 hanggang January 14 ng live streaming online via Upstream. Two years in the making ang ginugol ni Direk Peke at ng buong produksyon para mabuo ang pelikulang ito. Ang pagiging versatile at visionary ng Batikang Direktor ang bumago sa industriya ng pelikulang Pilipino na hindi lamang umani ng mga parangal dito sa Pilipinas, kundi pati na rin sa ibang bansa. Working with him for the first time, para kang nananaginip. It's like being in a place where, where nung bata ka, pinapangarap mo pa lang, and then all of a sudden, katrabaho mo na. Panday! Hindi mo ako kaya. Actually, almost all of the films I made with Peke, um, I always came out feeling na may nagawa kong maganda. He was a true blue artist. He loved his craft. He loved to make films. Um, hindi siya yung pangmaliitan. Si Direk Peke was always yung talagang the big picture. Always pangmalakihan. May 7 nitong taon, pumanaw na si Peke Galiaga sa edad na 76 lamang dahil sa pneumonia. Nagluksaman ang buong industriya sa kanyang pagkawala. Naiwan naman sa kanyang mga kaibigan at katrabaho ang mga masasayang alaala ni Direk Peke. One of the nicest experiences I had uh, with Direk Peke because hindi na malak ng araw eh when you go to um, the set you're 100% your mood can change from day to day your energy levels but he always made it a point to put everybody in the mood iba yung experience working in a Peke Galiaga Lori Reyes set Peke is so calm and so self-assured and so organized And there's no one else yet like him. There's something about it. It makes you feel like a star. Sa kanyang pagmamahal sa mga artista niya na ilalabas namin ang pinaka-pinaka namin. He was very good to his whole team. He treated each 
person with respect, generous, kind, loving. At siya lang ano direkto na nagsasabing thank you pagkatapos ng cut. Tubong negro si Direk Peke at kahit na siya ay mistiso, mas lamang sa kanyang puso ang pagiging Pinoy. All of these stories were always very Filipino-centric. When I'd write names for my characters and he, I would show it to him, he change the names and make it more uh, Filipino. Pag kami kinalaman sa culture ng Pinoy, yung kababalaghan, wala kang may isip na direktor na gagawa nung kung hindi si Peke Galiaga. I, I want the Pinoys to understand the culture that they come from, the agricultural background that they came from. Also the idea of magic. I want the magic uh, and, and, and the fantasy to be Pinoy, not to be a Walt Disney rip-off. We have to create our own look, which has to be Pinoy. Bukod sa pagiging direktor ng mga pelikula, likas din kay Galiaga ang pagiging mentor. Direktor din sa teatro si Direk Peke. Pagdidirek ng mga stage play sa Bacolod ang isa sa kanyang mga paboritong gawain. He was not just a teacher, a classroom teacher. He was a teacher of life. He was a teacher on the set. Everybody looked up to him. He was not madamot with his knowledge, with his expertise. Lahat yun, kung gusto niyang ipasa sa lahat. You only are a little spark. You're just a little thing in this. Si Peke, ano, mentor by heart. Hindi naman sinasadya ni Peke na maging teacher on the set. You know, pero dahil workshop instructor siya, dahil teacher siya mula nung gumraduate siya ng, ng college. Gentle instructor, gentle mentor. Yung artista, yan ang feedback sa kanya. Ang sarap ng feeling nila pag dinidirect sila ni Peke. Kasi ang dami nilang natututunan. Nagbabagong acting nila talaga forever. It was part of my growth as an artist. He was part of my growth as a person. Peke was my friend more than anything. I have learned so much from Peke. He was a major part of my career, of my life as an actor. He taught me to embrace my worth. Every milestone of my life as an actor, I have to say, was due to Peke Galiaga. Well, for one, there will never be another Peke Galiaga. Maraming lalabas na. Marami naman talaga na magkagaling na direkto. Pero yung totality of the man who not only cared for his product, but he cared for his artists. Everybody who worked with Peke Galiaga felt a sense of family. He likes to connect with people and give out ideas. And he's also very open to people giving him ideas. If he was born today, I think he would have wanted to be a filmmaker. What you want to do is capture that moment of time that's real, that moment of time that's the truth, to be able to capture that little moment of time. Just put the things together and it makes a whole story. So it's a, it's a different process, a different creative process that's taking place. And I love both. Through the years, collaborator siya. Ano siya eh, sanay na sanay siyang makipag... Uh, share ng idea. You're always part of the equation. That's why during the last few movies that he did, he already asked the editors to stop calling it a Peke Galiaga film. Sabi niya, this is not just my film. This is everybody's film. There's a chance that the half Change has been happening in our lives. He's been evolving from what he was when I first married him to what he was by the time I had to bury him. But the thing that is consistent in him is his passion. He had this amazing ability to make you feel important and make you feel special. Uh, he treated you like a person, like an individual, and you will never forget that feeling. As he takes his final bow sa industriya at sa mundo, Baunin natin ang mga aral ng kanyang mga pelikula na nagmulat sa atin na kaya rin nating mga Pilipino na makipagsabayan ng galing at talento sa buong mundo. I am very thankful and proud that in my career, na-experience kong makawork si Peke. Ang pasasalamat ko kay Peke sa pagmamahal niya sa akin, sa respeto at tiwala. I was his first and I will be his last from Oro Plata Mata to Sonata. 
And I'm just proud and honored to be that for him. People say I'm, him, I'm his muse, and I accept. Marami din siyang mga artisang babae na minahal, pero ako lang ang pinakamamahal niya. Alam ko yan. One thing that always inspired me was the world is too big to change. If you want to make something happen, let your garden grow. Take care of your garden, and then later on you can start moving on, but make your garden grow.